Okay, kind of a different subject. I want to talk to you about me as a child. I was, um, I've been experiencing, um, I've been experiencing seeing things my whole life. You know, even when I was a kid. Not to mention, I would, I was able to even, you know, predict things. You know, the worst thing is, you know, seeing your mama funeral you know months and years before it actually happened you know so you know I had these abilities you know to predict things and see people's deaths and you know when you when you experience that stuff that's kind of hard on somebody especially when you know especially when you're young even when I got around 25 I would I would um you know if I was around anybody that was sick I could almost see how they were going to die and when they were going to die and you know it went it went further than that you know especially around 1997 when I was predicting family members how they were going to die and that was really rough on somebody you know but after my dad died in 97 um, we had moved back to help take care of him, but in 97, he, um, you know, he, um, you know, he passed away, and when he passed away, things started happening in that house, and I'm talking about, I'm talking about things missing, apparitions floating around the bed, um, static coming through the, coming, float, just floating around, moving things. It went from the static to one night, you know, and it was bad. I mean, it was bad. I had a blind child who every night, every night would, you know, she'd be sitting in the kitchen growling and barking. She wouldn't, um, she wouldn't, and she was blind, but she was guarding and keeping whatever it was. She would lay beside our bed and keep these things away. But when she passed on, and then it seemed like it gave them open season, to um so one night i'm in there asleep it's around about four or five o'clock in the morning something comes up through the bed and punches me right in my back it freaked me out so bad it scared my wife the whole room turned cold and then i went back then went back in there to tell it to leave or whatever it was and it was static in there the room was cold and then i saw the static come out of the room come through another room through, move bags around and then it left and but again I seen this lady dressed in eight it looked like she was dressed in an 1800s dress floating around my bed um, you know I don't see this lady again until we had moved we'd been living in an apartment and we had just had my daughter she was in a back you know in her crib at the time the same lady after we moved from that place because that place was so bad you know, not to change the subject, but that place was so bad that I tried a quick sell with the mortgage company. And the mortgage company, um, this is what she said. She said, Wayne, I'm at your house. I said, no. I said, my house is three houses down. She said, oh, I was afraid of that. So when she comes, I can't get her to go inside it. And so then she tells me, you know, she tells me after several, several you know, a couple months, she tells me, you know, after I go in there and say we were a victim of a mortgage scam, and the doors were locked, so we couldn't, so I went back to get the keys from her and just tell her she couldn't sell it now because it's been a more, you know, it's been part of a mortgage scam. She said, Mr. Wilson, she said, did you know that place was haunted? I said, I said, do, well, I kind of did. She said, do you know you're supposed to notify us if this place is haunted? And I said, no, I didn't know that. She said, yeah. She said, I've took three different people down there. I had two interested, but every time I took them down there, something bad would happen and run them off. And she said, she said, that place is haunted. And so, you know, get back to the apartment, you know, the little baby's in the bassinet asleep. And then I wake up and I see that same lady that's dressed in that 1800s get up floating around my baby looking down on my baby and then she comes back now she's floating 
around my wife and she leans down at my wife and then she disappears and I haven't seen her since but then you know I come home one day there was a black entity in my daughter's bedroom and I asked the lady we were renting the, the apartment from I said has anybody died here recently and she said I wasn't no one was supposed to tell nobody but somebody hanged themselves about two rooms down so I knew why I was seeing this and of course then we moved to a out of there to a, a two-story house that's in a real rich community and and having problems with not really mean ghosts but night friendly and nice ghosts and they were the pro only problems we had out of them was cutting blu-ray players on or opening up xboxes you know we'd see that constantly you know actually actually took my um actually took my um, um, com um took my computer and turned it on somehow you know but but uh anyway anyway and I'll finish this up but it wasn't until wasn't until maybe um, we moved down there where the Sasquatch were that I didn't find a place I didn't live in a place that wasn't haunted and as soon as I got around the Sasquatch they seemed to teach me how to keep the ghost at bay I learned from the Sasquatch that the reason why I was drawing these things out was because I was I was a uh, portal and as I was asleep I would open I would open this portal up and while I was sleeping and, and things would come out so I got to where I mean this is no joke where I used to live I couldn't go to bed I had to stay up um, I couldn't go to bed it was the witching hour I stepped at six o'clock in the morning before I finally would go to bed so but this is like I said this is a good little story you know i wanted to tell and and like i said the sasquatch showed me how to keep these ghosts at bay and guess what i haven't had a ghost problem since i met the sasquatch so that ought to tell you something you know but this is a pretty good story